Welcome to another episode of the 604 Garage. Welcome back to the channel everyone. So one of the things that you may find when you're working on projects is that there's always an expensive tool to do the job. And now most of the time it's best to get those tools. Sometimes you want to explore more cost effective alternatives. And that's just what I'm going to do here. So I'm now getting you know to the point where I'm almost through the hot side fabrication. I'm going to be starting on the cold side fabrication or the intercooler piping. Uh, most of the piping and material I'm going to buy does not have a bead on the end of it. That bead is there to ensure once the silicone coupler is clamped on there, it doesn't blow off or pull off the end of that piece of tubing due to the pressure in the system. Now I've seen a lot of other people on YouTube make a very cheap, very cost effective bead forming tool um, using a basic set of electrical crimpers. So what I have here is a crimping tool with a cutter from Amazon Basics. Now, I won't be using the cutting portion of the tool, I'll be using the crimping portion, but I'll have to do a little bit of rework in here or a little bit of modification to show you how that works. So what I'll do is I'll show you what the tool looks like unmodified and then we'll modify the tool and we'll see how effective it works. All right, well here's the tool I got. It's from Amazon Basics, like I said. It's just a basic crimping tool with cutter. Um, you know, it was 17 bucks shipped to my house, which is, you know, right up my alley. And you can find anything like this at a local hardware store or tool store, or Home Depot or whatever you've got in your neighborhood there. Um, but this seemed to be the easiest solution because I didn't have to even get off my couch and it was here within, you know, a few hours. It was here basically the same day. So we'll take this thing out of the box here. And this is basically what it looks like. Um, it's just a basic tool that crimps and cuts butt connectors and electrical connectors, all sorts of things like that. And it's a good idea if you're sourcing something like this to start something like this to get one with the longest handle that you can because you're going to be squeezing aluminum tubing in there. So the longest handle is the best idea otherwise you're going to have a sore hand. What you're basically trying to end up with is something like that. Of course this one wasn't created by this tool but what I'll do is I'll because I need to massage this piece anyways, I'll hack off that end and we'll actually recrimp it just to see what it looks like. This is just a test piece here, so. Okay, and so what the modification entails is to sort of smooth out some of these additional bumps in here. This is where the main crimp is gonna happen, obviously in this area here, but there's an additional little bump in here and a couple different bumps in here. We don't need those, we're gonna smooth that area right out in here, grind that down, and then we're going to actually cut the tip off right here, these cutters off, because we won't be needing that. And then we'll round this off, smooth this out, and then we'll try that on our piece of aluminum tubing that we have over there. So let's get to work and do a little grinding and a little cutting. Well, now that we've modified our tool, you can see the only thing that's left is this section right here, or this point, and this relief right here. And that's what's going to form our bead when we squeeze the aluminum tubing. I've rounded the uh, nose off, I've taken the cutting portion off, 
and I've smoothed this area out here a little bit. So let's see how that works on our piece of aluminum tubing. Now we'll start crimping the end of the tube and see what it looks like. Okay, and a little bit of crimping later, and you can see it's actually making a nice little bead around the end of the tube there. Perfect for your hose clamp to go on this side here, and it'll prevent your silicone coupler from pulling off. So I'd say this tool works pretty darn good. Not bad for under 20 bucks. All right, well there you have it. Super cheap, super effective DIY bead forming tool that you can make at home for 20 bucks or less. This is the perfect solution for those of you who are getting into TurboFab and don't want to spend all the money on those high dollar tools. And as always, if you like the content, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps a guy out. And remember, the best time of the year to enjoy your project cars all year round, even if you're making tools that help you work on it. Take care and keep the shiny side up. What? You're still here? Well, it's a good thing you are because we're almost at 200 subscribers. When we hit that 200 subscriber mark, we're going to have to do something special. So I've got another set of tires lying around here that I just, you know, haven't been using in a while. So if you want to see something happen with those, put a comment down below. Maybe we'll burn them off too. Have a great weekend.